Today, we're looking at the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Gen 5 laptop, and this is something special. That's because Lenovo designed this laptop with help from iFixit, and they're promising that this is one of the company's most repairable laptops in years. So instead of a traditional review, we're going to tear it apart. Stick around to see what's inside. If you are looking for a more traditional review, by the way, I already wrote one for this laptop and you can read it at PC World, which I'll link below. But I wanted to spend extra time with this ThinkPad because it's interesting just how Lenovo went about making it repairable by going back in time, really. See, if you look at this laptop, it's kind of got a dated look to it. It's big, it's kind of thickish, even though it tapers, it's somewhat boxy. I I actually wrote about it a lot about how boxy it is, but I used to repair laptops for a living about 10 years ago. And to be honest, that's what it reminds me of. This looks like a laptop from 10 years ago. And that is actually probably what makes it so good for repairing. In fact, taking it apart starts with these well-marked screws. Right here, 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 here. And what I love about these screws, as we're gonna find out in just a second, is A, they're Phillips screws, no special hardware needed. But B, they're what's called captive screws. Now, captive screw means it won't actually come out of this case, which means you won't lose your screws. That's pretty fantastic. These two right here are marked as keyboard specific screws. So that's for when you wanna actually replace the keyboard on the device, which is possible. As someone who's done this in the past, trust me, that was one of the most aggravating and fearful parts because so often you ended up breaking the keyboard trying to get it out and fix anything about it. So I've got all my screws loosened and all I need now is a guitar pick. And we're just going to slip right in here. Now, if you're curious, this is running one of the new Intel Core processors, has super killer battery life and it has all the usual ThinkPad benefits like the little nut, red nub, if you're familiar with that, and it has plenty of RAM. It does cost a good bit of money, about $1,700. So definitely check out my full review at PC World if you're curious about how it stood the test. I ran it through all kinds of test software and so forth just to see. I've got the back off. It was just that simple. I didn't even have to get my guitar pick all the way around. Once I got enough, it just kind of popped off. And so what you should be able to see right now, honestly, most laptops, you wouldn't be able to get to all this right here. From here, you can now replace the battery, the SSD, and the RAM. And I, I can't explain what a big deal that is. So many laptops, the battery is glued in. This is just a couple of screws. So many laptops, the RAM and the SSD is soldered in. Let's show you what it takes to get it out. Here we are, two screws for the battery. I think it's just two, double checking. And bam, we're out. Not even any sort of connecting cable to dig through. It's that easy to replace the battery. You just needed to take off some screws, the back, and a couple more screws. Again, these screws are captive. You won't lose them. The downside of that means when you go to buy the battery, you've got to get the exact one with the screws included. Not a bad thing. Here is your RAM. it's not soldered in. So if you've ever done a RAM replacement before, boom, RAM is done. That sounds like a nothing thing, but with so many laptops, that's just not even possible anymore. It's all soldered. So just to be able to get to this with a traditional SODIMM style connector is just fantastic and wonderful. Let's go after this SSD. Now it has a heat shield over it. So we remove one screw. Pull that off and now the SSD should also be able to pop off. We're not going to go in there with a metal screwdriver because we're not going to damage anything. And I have removed the SSD. This is a terabyte SSD that came in this particular unit and this was 
32 gigs of RAM that came in this particular unit, you could save money by ordering the smaller unit of SSD and the less RAM, and then buy your own SSD and RAM and upgrade it yourself for less than it would cost. Now from here, you could actually go further. Here is, for instance, the cable connector to the display. This really does remind me of a 10-year-old laptop because the cable connector snakes all the way through here, along with some other cables here from one side to the other, and you can then pop off the bezel and get to the display and remove it entirely. I'm not gonna do that today because I have to return this to Lenovo, but just seeing that herein is the connector to the keyboard. We have just screws holding in the motherboard. I just, this is so fantastic because this wasn't possible not that long ago. See the fan right here? It is one connector. We'll even remove this one. One connector, you just pull out. And then I see one screw right here. I'm pretty sure this is also captive, but I'm not positive on that. And then you can start removing the fan. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out because it's connected to the heat sink that goes over the processor area. And I bet there is heat paste under there. I don't wanna remove it, but it is just that easy. Uh, okay, and you have to remove one more cable over here that is snaked through the fan. This is the problem with this 10 year old design is so much of it was done through snaking cables. So this is incredibly repairable. It's not as repairable as the framework. The framework doesn't have the snaking cables. The framework is just a matter of a few screws and everything comes apart, pops out easily. This is a bit more work. We'll take a bit more knowledge involved. And you should look for iFixit's guides on taking the whole thing apart. But this is by far the most repairable laptop you can buy from a company that has been around more than 10 years. Framework is still a new company. They've come a long way. They've had some issues with some of their firmware upgrades and I'll link an Ars Technica article about that. So if you have been hesitant with framework because you're afraid that in three or four years they're not gonna be around, well, Lenovo is not going anywhere. This is worth a look if you want a laptop that will last, that you can upgrade the hardware as you go or replace hardware as you need. It takes a bit more effort, but it does a great job. You know what else does a great job? You, when you subscribe to my channel. We've got a lot of great reviews coming up, including Google's new foldable phone I've got. I'm super excited about that, along with a prototype of the car thing. And these little DIY speaker glasses, smart glasses. Stick around. We've got so much more to cover. And until next time, bye.